Welcome, welcome. I'm Sophia from the Junkie Forever and today's video is going to be a swatch video, a lip swatch video at that because I got all of the e.l.f. lip liners. These are the Cream Glide lip liners. e.l.f. just launched these. They're $2 each. There are eight shades in the range and I bought all eight, which means that I spent $16 on all of these lip liners. I am a little bit sick, but these are sharpenable, so even if I am a little sick, I can just sharpen that off. Let's get into it. I am in my lunch hour, so uh, let's speed through this. Just to show you the packaging, it comes in this uh, plasticky packaging. You do have to actually tear it open, and let's do that. That was pretty easy, and then you get the lip liner out. This was shade mauve aside. That's cute, I like that. And it is a traditional pencil. It's literally a pencil, a sharpenable pencil. So I do appreciate it. It does have a fine point. I'm going to start with the lightest and then move on to the deepest. So the first one that I'm going to try on is, what is the shade on it? Just one thing I want to point out. I took them all out of packaging and I lined them up so I can start swatching lightest to deepest or boldest. And I realized that the lip liners don't actually have the name of the shade on the lip liner. They're all on the packaging you're supposed to discard. So I don't I don't understand. Uh, how am I supposed to know what I want to talk about in the future? Am I supposed to just like keep the packaging that I'm trying to throw out? The first shade I'm gonna go with is this one. It is called Pinky Swear and it is a beige pink. I don't know about that. In what world is this a beige pink? This is the shade Pinky Swear. My first impression of the formula that it is creamy but hard at the same time. So it allows the um, point to be pretty sharp and does actually work to line the edges of the lips really well. But if you're gonna fill it the way I do, you're gonna have to dull the, uh, the uh, end a little bit, the point a little bit, because that was a little bit hard to feel on the lips, but no biggie. Overall, this is a beautiful shade, and the only issue I have is that, again, the name is not on the actual product. But other than that, it's a beautiful formula. Let's continue with the other swatches. This is Baddest Beige. It is described as light neutral beige. Next up, let's swatch Truth or Bear. This is described as a peachy pink. This is Mauve Aside. It is described as a warm rose mauve. This is Spill the Tea. It is described as a medium warm brown. This will be a lovely shade on someone. That person is not me, but it is a really nice creamy one. This is the creamiest of the lot until now. This is Dark Cocoa. It's described as a deep brown. This is Plum and Get It, and it is described as a black plum. This is Red Receipt, and it is described as a true red. Let's talk some final thoughts. Well, as final as possible, seeing as how this is not a wear test, this has been only application. And the first thing I want to address is that I don't know whether this is long wearing or not, but I have suspicions that these are not going to be particularly long wearing because at least the deeper shades were very creamy. They applied very beautifully, very soft, which is lovely when you're wearing it as a lipstick, when you're applying it all over your lips, but you have to be really mindful of that if you want the sharp edges with the deeper shades. You will have to make sure that you line the outside of your lips first before you fill it in. If you, want, if you like to wear lip liners the way I do all over my lips, um, that way you can get the sharp edge and the clean lines around your lips and then just fill it in with the soft part. This is only true for the deeper shades, for the lighter shades. The formula is actually pretty hard. I don't know why, not sure, but those were a little bit harder. They definitely hurt a little bit more to apply and they definitely were a little bit um, tuggy. They tugged on my lips quite a lot. The first shade that I noticed the actual switch in like the formulation where it, was, it went from hard to soft would be the Spill the Tea shade, which is warm, medium brown. And this is the shade. And the reason I have it in the packaging is because, uh, as I said a few times during this video, I'm sure, there is no name anywhere on the actual product. It's all 
just on the outside packaging. So if you are just a regular user of this product, that's not going to be an issue for you because you're just going to go on what the product looks like and just go based on that. But if you're um, a content creator, keep in mind that you're going to have to keep the packaging and like literally immediately put it back in. I do like this product. I think it's lovely. I really appreciate the fact that it's only $2 per because I can just get all I could and did get all the shades and now I have all the shades I have the entire range and additionally if I run out it's easy and pretty affordable to just pop a few of the same shade that I like in or just various shades into my regular elf cart and there we go and the reason you're gonna need to do that I guess these this is like a segue uh, is because these are um, soft enough where the point gets really, really dull very quickly and you kind of run out of the product that is available like above the um, the wood of the pencil. And let me show you, this is probably where you can see it the best. As you can see, just one application all over my lips has just brought it down to the very, very bottom. I'm gonna have to sharpen this the next time I wanna use it because it was pretty much, I could feel the wood just um, scratching my lips. Overall, I think that this is a lovely release. The shade range is beautiful. You can pretty much find your shade uh, in these, though I do think that they could have had a few more deeper brown shades for those who have um, deeper uh, complexions. There's quite a lot for the lighter complected uh, individuals, but not as much for anybody with a deeper skin tone. But I think that what they're trying to do is just release at first go, and then they're probably going to add shades, which is fine by me. Um, though, you know, it is Elf. It is a pretty big brand. They could have They could have come out with maybe like four more shades. Overall, I think this is a lovely product. I love the price point. It is one gram of product per pencil, which is about standard, I would say. Maybe some uh, lip liners have 1.3 grams, but they're also like 10 times the price. I think I'm okay with just like, you know, a one gram of product. And overall, I really like it. I really do. Um, I'm just gonna keep buying these. The only shade I don't anticipate I'll use is actually Spill the Tea which is a really warm brown. I don't anticipate using this on my lips. However, now that I think about it, maybe I could use it as an eyeshadow. That would be interesting to try out. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.